Right now, Chicago State University faculty members continue to strike, and today those on the picket line got some high-profile support. Chicago's mayor-elect Brandon Johnson joined in. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos reports the strike is bringing attention to the struggles of university staffers across our region. Just a week into their strike, and their chants have only grown louder. One day longer! One day stronger! Adding to their Fuel Monday, Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson joined roughly 160 staffers at Chicago State University as they continue their calls for a fair contract. That's what this movement is about, to make sure that you all are protected in the work that you do and the people that rely upon you have the support and resources that they need. Ernst Coupe, a professor of economics and finance at CSU, is a member of the bargaining team. The biggest roadblock, he says, getting the administration to move, period. They have not been willing to cooperate with us. They have not been willing to move basically in their position financially. Citing a report from the National Education Association, professors at CSU are among the lowest paid in the state, averaging 88000 a year, which is 7000 less than the state average. We have to fight for the basic elements. I don't know if it's because we're on the south side of Chicago. The fight for higher wages at CSU is setting the scene for growing unrest at other universities in the area. Employees at Eastern Illinois University went on strike Monday, and their counterparts at Governor State University are also threatening to strike this week if their contract negotiations fall through. These waves of strikes will gain much momentum on Tuesday when faculty members from all universities, Chicago State, Eastern Illinois, and Governor State will all join forces for a massive rally calling for higher wages. Reporting outside Chicago State University, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. Calls and emails from CBS2 to administrators at CSU were not returned today.